In 2022, five-star luxury hotel brand Ritz-Carlton brought their stunning and unique award-winning hospitality style and services to the Seven Seas. On board their very first super luxury yacht, Evrima, guests can experience the finest in fashionable interior design, comfort and class with gold standard service, Broadway and West End level performers and musicians, culinary wizardry while you cruise with the most beautiful of luxury items to ensure that you feel like you're truly somewhere special. My name's Shane Hampshire and I'm a guest entertainer on board some of the cruise industry's most luxurious ships and yachts. I believe that I'm in an almost unique position to be able to bring you some behind the scenes knowledge whilst taking you on a tour of these magnificent and decadent super luxurious hotels at sea. So let us begin. This will be my very first time on board Ritz Colton Everima and I'm very excited to see the yacht for the very first time but first I have a bit of a journey. As I only had a small window of dates that I was available to be on board, the team have asked me to join in the Azores on the small island of Horta. So let the journey begin. From London Heathrow, I flew to one of my favourite cities, Lisbon. Well, the first leg of my trip is over. I'm finally in Lisbon uh, at my hotel, just for a few hours. I'm leaving at 4 a.m. for a 6 a.m. flight to the Azores, my final destination. And uh, the guy on the reception desk, I'm so happy about this. He said to me, um, what time is your flight? What time do you have to leave and all that? He said, well, I suggest that you leave at 4.30 because our breakfast starts at four and I wouldn't want you to miss it. I said, oh, it's gonna be a bit tight, but I'll have a think. He said, would you rather we prepared you a breakfast box? Yeah, genius. What a great hotel. A breakfast box from the hotel to me. Thanks. Then on to the Azores, Ponte del Garda. Here we come. I've been here many times, but I've never been to this little island, Horta. Apparently the most common way of getting from island to island nowadays are these prop planes. This is also a first for me. If you've never flown on a prop plane before, the feeling of taking off and landing is exactly the same as on a jet plane. It's just a little louder. So nothing to worry about. At last, my final destination. After a nice leisurely drive around the Horta countryside, there she is. The first vessel in the Ritz-Carlton luxury yacht fleet, Evrima. Evrima, meaning discovery in Greek, saw crowds gathered on her foredeck on November the 5th, 2022, to witness a Methuselah of champagne smashed against her mast before she embarked on her first season in the Mediterranean and Caribbean. The company used the opportunity to confirm that the new concept is not aimed at the cruise market. Nine out of 10 of our guests have never been on a cruise before. That just shows the type of client we are dealing with said Douglas Prothero, CEO of the Ritz Colton Yacht Collection. You won't find things like casinos on board. We want guests to explore the places we visit rather than spend all their time on board. Ritz Colton Yacht Club offer guests an all-inclusive cruise experience where every detail is considered. As such, the following are included in your fare at the time of booking. Dining in multiple venues, beverages throughout the ship, and in your suite. Unlimited Wi-Fi, gratuities, onboard entertainment and enrichment program, access to the yacht's marina platform and water sports toys. In addition to this, every suite is attended to by a personal assistant who will be on hand throughout your sailing to make dinner reservations, book shore excursions and ensure your mini bar is stocked to your preferences. Now that I'm on board, just take a look at this beautiful suite. The company have put me up in one of the terrace suites on deck six. 300 square meters all to myself complete with a luxury custom king bed. A double vanity bathroom with modern shower system. Luxury bath linens and a private spacious terrace overlooking the ocean. 
The suite also provides espresso machine with complimentary coffee and teas, digital flat screen smart TV, an in-suite safe, vanity mirror, hair dryer, hypoallergenic pillows upon request, and 230 and 120 volt outlets, as well as USB charging capabilities and of course, unlimited complimentary Wi-Fi. After a little rest and a meeting with the entertainment team on board, I enjoyed a tasty all day breakfast in one of the more casual restaurants on board, the Pool House, before I got ready to do some more sightseeing and watch some entertainment. But I have to be honest, after starting my journey to the yacht the previous evening and having had not much sleep, the first day on board was a bit of a blur. I did enjoy though a decent night's sleep in my cosy bed. 10.30am the next morning, I had a rehearsal for my first show on board which was that evening with the onboard pianist Kennedy. Usually I would perform my show with a bigger band but seeing as Evrima doesn't have a theatre, the performers main shows are in the observation lounge on deck 10. Which allows for a very intimate and up close performance where you can really get the audience involved and boy do they love getting involved. I must apologize to you for not getting any footage of my first show on board so let's move ahead 24 hours to my second performance on board which was the next evening for En Blanc, the white party. The whole room had been transformed beautifully with white balloons and decorations which really added to the atmosphere to create an amazing evening of entertainment and celebration with the full band along with all three guest entertainers, me, Nate Simpson and Scarlett Thomas. Tonight it was party central with pop classics and chart hits. What a wild night on board, check this out. Then into the early hours with DJ Natalie. Oh what a night. Seeing as I'm only on board for four nights, this is actually my last day on board as we sail ever closer to Lisbon, from which I'll fly back to London. But first, another rehearsal and another evening of performing for the guests on board Evrima. Today, I finally had a chance to take a proper look around the yacht and what an amazing experience. As the yacht is fairly quiet at this point, you could walk around the vessel and find plenty of places to enjoy some peace and quiet. The yacht can accommodate some 298 passengers, but I heard that on this part of the crossing, there were really only around 100 guests on board. So I'm sure as the summer season in Europe comes around, the onboard experience will change a fair bit. As I understand it, Nate, Scarlett and I are the first guest entertainers to perform on board. So I'm sure it won't be our last time together and our last time on board Evrima. 2024 will be a big year for this luxury brand as their new yacht, Ilma, takes to the seven seas. It will be quite a bit larger than this already huge super yacht. I'll keep my fingers crossed that I can also someday perform on board that vessel. You never know. If you have anything else you'd like to see from this brand new cruise experience, let me know and I'll try to cover it next time. For more cruising and entertainment content, make sure you subscribe to Shane Hampshire TV.